off with the colors They kinda tell me what I'm thinking I fell in love with the way we are And the way we lose it There's something different about us And the reason why we stay It's actually time to put away Halloween, which I'm actually very excited about. I am done with Halloween. Doesn't mean that I'm going to put up Christmas. It just means that I am done with orange <laughs> and pumpkins. Even though this is quite literally the only area that I decorate. Well, I mean, and outside, but we're going to put this all away. Jason's got to put the buckets up, but I'll get him out to the garage. I was waiting to see if it would actually hold off on raining. So I'm going to come really quick while it's not raining, even though this is all wet. I'm going to hurry and take this all down. I'm over it. Sorry. The, the ground is wet, so I'm trying to avoid the ground, and I don't have shoes on. So, <laughs> all right. I'm going to get my shoes on and go grab all that stuff because I can't stand to, like, kind of put stuff away and not put all of it away. You doing okay, Abby? Yeah. <clears throat> also, I have fun, exciting news to share with you, but let me put my Halloween stuff away, and then I will tell you my fun, exciting news. Oh, it's like the wind knew I was coming out here, but oh, I'm gonna need a ladder. I'll get what I can here really quick, and then I'm gonna put the camera away when I go out out into the wind. You won't be able to hear me anyway. Take off the boo. Our Christmas lights are ready to go, which is fantastic. I truly think that this is the grossest part about cleaning up Halloween, because the feeling of this net stuff is just so gross to me. And my fingers are dry anyway, so I hate this. I mean, it works great to like attach it to brick and stuff like that but it is actually like so gross on my hands. Ugh. But I think it's worse when it gets covered in leaves and it's wet, but look, it's a great, um, what do you call it? Um, oh, it's stuck. It's a great weeder because it does pick up a lot of stuff. All right, so I'm going to uh, weed out my little set of lights that I have in there um, and then just quickly gather this stuff up. If there is something we need, it's a leap of faith. A step away from the comfort zone and be a little brave. So take a look around you. How far can you see? How far do you think? got the Halloween buckets all stacked up ready for Jason to put up in the garage and I do need to vacuum the floor but Kaylee's asleep so I don't want to wake her up and yes it is almost one o'clock <laughs> teenage life um, so I wanted to show you something I have gathered all the things that Ashley left on the floor last night it was all over the floor it's fine she went to bed um, not feeling so well she stayed home from sick school yesterday sick but I just want to show you she is capable of of cleaning and organizing and doing her thing and this is why I leave it in piles like this let me show you okay now to be fair I cleaned her desk space the other day because I just got sick of looking at it and it was overwhelming her causing her some anxiety she was no longer coming in here to work on her things so I thought you know what I'm just gonna clean it up for her okay so I cleaned up her space she hasn't done beads since because of Halloween and being sick yesterday and whatnot but I want to just show you something. <laughs> just want to show you something. She's very capable when she wants to be. <laughs> when there's an incentive, AKA chocolate, candy, sugar, she's very capable. And I think I might take some compensation for cleaning her desk. I like that kind. I like that kind. And then we're going to fill in the hole. She doesn't know. She does like lollipops. We'll fix that. I'm just going to tuck that over here. So, 
that's just a little mom tax for cleaning her desk for her. I find bracelets all over the house. They're all over. So I try and bring them here. I'm letting her have her little cubbies. I took out the little black bins. They're actually in the living room. And I'm just letting her have her space. She got very frustrated that she just had a teeny tiny corner of desk space but wanted a, a actual shelf space. So we clean these off for her and let her put her beads and her knickknacks in here for now um, because she thought it wasn't fair that I wasn't sharing this space. <laughs> this is kind of our neutral ground, but it was eking way over into my territory and I wasn't liking it. So I gave her this little space right here. All right, so some of you noticed in different videos that I've been wearing different rings. <laughs> you know that I lost my wedding ring. So someone noticed that I was wearing a silicone ring when we were in Hawaii. I got that for the trip to Hawaii, so I had something to wear, but I've always not wanted to wear my wedding ring or even a replacement cheapo one because when you're you know, snorkeling and playing in the ocean and playing in the pool, the chances of it coming off are pretty high. And I see so many postings of people losing their rings in the ocean and they're gone forever. So I didn't ever want to chance that. So I got or silicone rings from Amazon. They're just upstairs in my room. I don't want to go get them, but I was wearing them in Hawaii. And then um, I just noticed that I was kind of fidgeting with that silicone ring. I was like twisting it. I'm a very, I'm a high fidgeter. My fingers need to be doing something <laughs> at all times. In fact, I have a new book on in my ears. I just finished the Jill Duggar book the other day and I have a new book going, The Maid. But then when I'm listening to something, I need to either be doing cleaning or fidgeting and playing a game. So then I looked up fidget rings and I got this one and it actually, uh, let me get it to focus. I don't think it will, but it, it spins. There's two like uh, circles in it and the top one spins on itself. And I'm, this is perfect. So I got this ring. The first one didn't fit, so I actually just got the second one in the mail. Where is it? Maybe this one is the right one. Let me see. Let me put this one on. Yeah, this one is the right one. So I got the correct size in the mail this morning. So I have two of them that are like this one. The other one fits just fine. It just kept kind of falling off um, in the morning, but then it stays good in the afternoon when I'm a little bit more bloated. So I have two fidget rings. Then the other day we were, um, I was looking for something and I found one of my first replacements for that wedding band that I got from Amazon. Um, these are like titanium coated rings because I can't do other metals. Um, so I know eventually that titanium will kind of wear off, but they're pretty cheap um, and they don't irritate my hands. So I just get them. They're literally like 10, $11. They're not that expensive and they're not obviously real diamonds. So here's another one of my rings that is total fake, just from Amazon. Again, it's a little big. I am definitely a size eight. So I found this guy and I was like, all right, well now I have a bunch of choices. I've got a silicone one, I've got a fidget one. Um, so I've got two different fidget ones that I can wear. And then the other day, again, Jason was trying to help Ashley find her AirPods. This girl is going to get something for Christmas that attaches her AirPod case to her body. I'm gonna get her a lanyard or make her a beaded necklace to attach to her AirPod case because it gets lost all the time. We can track the AirPods themselves and try and find those within the house, which they're not allowed to leave the house, but the case. So he was trying to find the case in the couch. Now, you have to remember, he has cleaned that couch twice, two or three times since February when we thought that we lost my wedding ring. He vacuumed it when I had my surgery, when I was up recovering. He cleaned the whole house down here. He cleaned, he, he vacuumed, he wiped walls. He cleaned everything, including the couch didn't find my wedding ring. He was also looking for my wedding ring. Didn't find it. So then the other day, he's looking for Ashley's AirPods. And guess what he found? He's like, I have no idea why the first three times I cleaned out this couch, I didn't find this ring. And why it's been almost eight months since I have had it, but I found it. <laughs> so now I have all these rings to wear and it's good because um, I tend, I want to wear the real one when I go out, unless it's like a, an activity. Like if I'm working out, I'll wear my silicone one. But then when I come home, I'm designating a certain spot and I'm gonna try and find a little box to put it in. Right now I have a certain spot that I'm gonna put it in because in the afternoon and the evening, well, mostly in the evening when I'm watching TV, my, again, I'm watching TV, but I'm fidgeting with my fingers. I tend to do just what I'm doing now. I tend to slip it off 
play with it, spin it around, and that's where it falls off. If I'm getting distracted with something, it falls off my hand down into the couch, and I don't want that to happen again. So I will wear some of my replacement rings in the afternoon, but honestly, t I tend to not wear rings at home very often. So now I have a lot of backups, but I do, in fact, have my wedding ring. So now I don't necessarily want to clean or to decorate for Christmas because I believe we're going to host Thanksgiving this year. I don't know. I'm stuck in a predicament because I want to decorate for Christmas near the end of November. I definitely don't want to do it now, but if I, I'm definitely going to have my Christmas tree up and I likely, likely will have a lot of my Christmas decorations up in the rest of the house before Thanksgiving because Abby's surgery is right around the corner from Thanksgiving. Again, I'm not going to give an exact date, but it's right around the corner. And I just, from the day before her surgery on, I don't want to have to worry about Christmas. I don't want to have to worry about decorating. I don't want to have to necessarily worry about Christmas shopping unless I have an extra hour. She's taking a nap. I can leave the house for a little bit, leave Kaylee here with her, that kind of thing. So I am getting everyone ready with their Christmas lists. I'm going to do everything on Amazon. I don't care. I'm going to get Christmas almost all done. In fact, in fact, I was going to show you. I literally was going to show you my computer. I just ordered my Christmas cards. I have plenty to send to you guys. Plenty. If you guys want a Christmas card, they're so cute. They're so cute. If you remember, we got our photos taken in Hawaii. We are not bothering with a fall photo session. We're not going to bother because the ones we got in Hawaii are so good and so us and so perfect of the girls. Unfortunately, it is before my surgery. It's the only unfortunate thing. So we will have to replace that picture next year when we go. I have Christmas cards. So if you would like one, I am totally ahead of the game. I have ordered them from Costco, AKA Shutterfly. And they are coming next week, I believe. So if you would like one, but obviously don't put your address down below because that's like, you know, kind of breach of privacy. But you can go and find me on Instagram in case you haven't done that yet. Dana Creates over on Instagram and send me a DM with your address if you would like us to send you a Christmas card. You're not obligated to send us one, but we certainly love it and we like to display the Christmas cards that you guys send us. And it's just super fun for us to send you one. If you have already sent me your address before, guess what you guys? This is, I'm an organized person, but I also like, I love to send Christmas cards. So I already have your addresses in here. Obviously I'm not gonna show one, but there's my stamps all ready to go. And I have your, the addresses here that have already sent us a card or requested a card. So if you've already done that, you're, on, you're in good shape. You're gonna get a card. Whether you want one or not, if I have your address, I'm sending you a card. That being said, I've been wanting to go Christmas shopping at Target and Hobby Lobby. We've been to Hobby Lobby enough with Ashley lately, so I don't know if I necessarily need to go to Hobby Lobby to look at Christmas shopping, but I'm also very bored. I'm very bored right now, if you can't tell. Um, and I have like three hours. Let's see what we get up to. All right, here we go. Luckily, I don't need to buy anything big. I'm mainly just looking, which I have been looking. I'm actually kind of like Christmas rugs. I don't really need anything. That's the thing. But I kind of have an idea of like more picks to go in my tree and ribbon, which I've never done ribbon on my tree before. So anyway, I'm looking out here just to get ideas of trees, but or what to do with the tree. Okay, I have an idea with these little tins for my Christmas party for church. But I'd probably need to buy them myself. So I'm trying to see how big and if I would like them. I would like this one and that one up there. I don't like that colorful one. But having, I like these the Merry Christmas on the front in the green and the red. So that's an idea. This is kind of the vibe I was kind of thinking of for my tree, but I don't know if it goes with everything else or if the white is too much. I might try and just do like, I don't know. I don't know. This is fun. Like these, they're little branches. If I can pull one out. Dude, I'm really liking this. If I don't do this in the tree, I could totally do this in my mantle garland. Ooh, and they're half off, so they're $3 a piece, right? $5.99? That's actually kind of fun. I think I have a vision in my head of something I want to do and I can't really like find it. You know what I mean? Okay, so I have this image in my head. I don't really want to take out the red from my tree, although I might take off some of the ornaments from my tree. Trying to get it to go a little bit more neutral. 
I don't really like the idea of like having the expense of having to change out all the ornaments. And some of our ornaments are so, they're nostalgic and the kids love them. And I made some of them and actually I made a lot of them. And so I don't really want to change the whole look of the tree, but kind of like the base of it. I want to go a little bit more neutral. I might not even put on the red garlands that I have. So here's my idea. I have the little picks, the little tree picks that go into the tree that give it more fluff and more naturalness, right? Um, and I love those tree picks. And since I bought those, I have not found more of those at Michael's. That's where I got them. Since I got them, which is super annoying. I, I'm gonna go to Michael's, I'm gonna look again because I want more. But I saw on a video yesterday, I believe it was, where you take a pick like that and you put ribbon about around it, really thick ribbon, and you just tie a knot around it and it's wired ribbon. I'm gonna put the camera down so people don't see me. You take the wired ribbon, really fat wide ribbon, tie it in a knot around the pick and then put it in and then you can kind of twist the ribbons and like let them drip out of the tree. And it just looked really, really pretty aside from just like putting ribbon into the tree itself it was with the picks i don't know why it looks different to me but it does but that ribbon of choice i just in my head it needs to be neutral but i don't want it to be burlap because that doesn't fit with the theme of the tree at all but i haven't figured that part out yet but i have it in my head but i'm gonna go to michael's but i also saw on a video that target dollar spot has the cutest collection of little houses I, I know you know my obsession with houses, but these ones are like so unique and so cute. And there's even a Target, a Target house. It's so cute. And I thought, because Abby's gonna be upstairs recovering a lot this Christmas, I did do a tree for her last year or the year before. And I don't know if she wants to keep the same thing to it. I think she likes it. But I think I might decorate a little bit up there as well so that she has something else to look at. So anyway, I might go to Target too. We have time, we have time. It's only two o'clock. Chelsea's gonna come home, have lunch, and then do some homework. And then I'm gonna take her out with her friend tonight. So we have a little bit of extra time. But for now, we're gonna fight this construction zone over here and go over to Michael's. All right, this is actually kind of fun. I just wish it would hold its shape more. And then I saw this one. I've actually seen this one online. This one looked really cute in a tree. Kind of looks like fluffy snow kind of laying on the branches, but it's not, not, I don't know. It's not quite what I'm, go, I don't know what to do. I don't know. I mean, this burlap, it's the neutral, but like, I don't want like fancy like that. Maybe like this in white, but I don't have any gold on the tree. I don't know. Okay, this is what I'm thinking not to do the red pick but something more natural and all the ribbons more natural i actually like that creamy one and then they wrap it up around the pick see how like that's different than like just sticking ribbon in the tree Ugh. all right i'm kind of leaning more towards this red one it's super cute it looks like santa's like outfit and then I found a thin white one in like the puffy, but I can't find a stripe. I think I'm, I could go with the stripe situation. And then we just maybe go for the red because I, that's what I have on the tree already. The only thing I don't like about these little picks, these berry ones, they're foam and they break. And then like they do this whole thing. You know what I mean? They, then you can see the foam. And so these don't hold up very well. And I'm, if I want these, to be used year after year. I need something that'll hold up a little bit better. Okay, here's an idea. This is an actual garland. That one's broken. This is an actual garland. Can you see that? It goes all the way down there. They're $20 and they're 40% off. So if I got this, I could cut it right above each little red spot and then cut it down here. So how many would I get? How many do we have? One, one, two, three, four, five, five little picks out of one. And then I could wrap that with the ribbon. Five picks for about $12.
is better than price of $12 for one pick with 40% off, I guess. I don't know. But I am liking this more natural look. This would match more. And then there's less, less berries, but with berries. Less berries to get broken, I guess. But I like the look of this one better. Okay, I just got those two rolls of um, ribbon because I couldn't find the berry picks that I wanted. They didn't have any more. Also, this is why I don't actually set up the Christmas tree or touch anything plastic. That's just from holding something against my arm for a few minutes. So it's like major hives that have broke out on my arm. So I will have to make Jason decorate the tree, not decorate. He'll have to fluff it, set it up, put the lights on it. As long as I, I might wear gloves, little latex gloves to put these little picks together once I find picks. I'm not gonna go back to Hobby Lobby today, but I will go back to Hobby Lobby now that I have that in mind. It's cheaper, you guys. These exact same bells. It was even on a cheaper looking um, piece of wire branch, if you will. Um, they were $3 more. They were still 40% off. Actually, Michael's was 40% off Christmas and Hobby Lobby's 50% off. So they were cheaper at Hobby Lobby and there was more of a sale price. So, I mean, <laughs> Hobby Lobby is more the place to go. So I'll do that another day. I'm gonna look at Target now um, and then get home to um, take Chelsea to go with her friend. Okay, we're at Target and this is the stuff that keeps me going for red stuff because it's just so cute. I love that. I'm, I don't need any of this, but it's all so cute. Look at this new advent calendar. I literally don't need another one. But look how cute that is. Little skiers, so cute. Unfortunately, the dollar spot did not have the little houses like I thought, but I haven't seen them. I mean, I've been in here enough to know that they haven't put them out yet at mine, which makes me want to go to another one, possibly tomorrow, because the other one further away from me, they kind of have their act together more than this one. But shh, I don't want to feel like I'm cheating on Target by saying that. Okay, back at Target. I ended up getting a dress here earlier today. Dropped Chelsea off at Panera with her friend for dinner. Um, but we looked, I looked at dresses for you, both for church, for winter. And banquet. And she has a cheer bank banquet. And when I showed her all the pictures, every single dress Taylor. was a Taylor dress. So now, so now she has to pick out which one she wants. Okay, this dress is fearless. Obviously red. She's not a huge fan of that one. What one is this one, Ash? What, is, what one is this? Midnight. A little bit, yeah. Yeah, well. And I didn't take a picture of this one. She just saw it in the background. I was like, you're not gonna like it. I oh, it's a Hanukkah one. Oh, uh, no. But no, she thought was, she would like it. Oh, that would be cuter. But then there's this one. I just don't think you're gonna like that. Do you like that no. style? No. Sorry. Yeah, I thought you would like that one better. But then here's the black skirt. There's just only one left. So we could do black, especially because reputation might be coming out in eight days. Maybe or red for red. Don't even know. So she's. I, don't think I, want this. I know you've done that skirt before in the past, but when you were little. So now we have to make a decision. I actually really liked this dress, but it didn't fit with any tailor. I just don't like it. Either. And she doesn't like it. And she obviously, I just knew she wouldn't like that one. Oh, here's the other purple one, Ash. Oh, this is, no, 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 no. right, and I just didn't think you would like that style. Like but white. it's definitely it's Taylor purple. purple. Speak now, correct? Yeah. That one's definitely speak now. And after all that, she's technically your reputation. Black. No, we're gonna, she's got a little sweater and little ponty pants. They're, 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 pink underneath. You could do any color underneath. That's yeah. the nice thing is any shirt you could dress it up, you could just do a tank top, you can do whatever you want, but it's nice. I can't find anything because like, I'm in the gap. Yep. She doesn't really like all the sparkles and sequins, even though it's cute. It's just the way no, they she, make She's mine. finally like being honest whether she's going to actually wear it or not. Because like the stuff that they make in my size are just too kiddish. unicorns and pink. I know, you're done with that. Yeah.